Hey guys, welcome to Busy Mommy. So I'm here again with my little sister Ashley. Hi. So uh, she's actually here because she wanted this and she loves spinach and artichoke dip. And so she's like, can you make it? I said, sure, but you got to make it with me and we got to make a video. So that's what we're actually going to do. So we're going to start off by putting in some oil into the pan. So I'm going to start this part. Ashley, I'm going to have you cube up this. Uh, so it's eight ounces of cream cheese. We're going to cube up. So just cut into like random pieces and you'll be good. Oh, so we're actually one of the reasons why we're making this is because, you know, we're doing this whole series on Super Bowl and like parties, right? And so I can't tell you a bigger sports fan than my little sister. Mind you, we have, we're nine, all of us. We're nine of us. And Chris might get upset if I say that Ashley is a bigger sports fan than he is. Just a little. But I think she is. So she's actually the biggest sports fan we have. So like, who's playing in the Super Bowl? Because I kind of suck at that. The New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. But we were so close. The Bears were so close. But we can't talk about it because she'll get really <sighs> upset. Still. Who do you think is going to win? I mean, I want the Rams to win. Obviously. Only because you don't want the Patriots right, to win. Right, <laughs> but Tom Brady's Tom Brady, and I feel like even if they're down 21-0 in the fourth quarter, he's going to win. I hear that like he's one of the oldest quarterbacks. He is. He is. Right? He's like 40, I think. 35, 36, I think. I don't know how there. old he is, honestly. But he's like older, and he's one of the oldest quarterbacks in... Every time we play fantasy football, I try to get him. It's really kind of messed up. I probably shouldn't, but I mean, he's he's good, so it's you can't just, help it. Tom Brady in a Super Bowl environment is really dangerous. Like that's just the truth. Doesn't he inflate balls and stuff? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying things. Don't be mad at me, Tom Brady. Um, so we're gonna add uh, half a well, one and a half teaspoons of garlic, and to that we're gonna add some frozen spinach. So you're gonna to wanna to drain out the spinach and add it. I'm gonna add one and a half boxes of spinach. We like spinach a lot, so we're gonna have a good amount of spinach. I love it. In here, it's gonna be so good. Ashley, I'm gonna wash my hand. Can you mix this all up for me? Yeah. Okay, so why do you think, do you really think the Patriots are gonna win because of Tom Brady? Like, what if he was injured? What would happen? If he was injured, then it'd be a no-brainer. The Rams would easily win if their defense stepped up. I heard the Rams' defense is good, though, because I feel like that's what I had on my fantasy I mean, football team. They weren't good enough for the Bears. Oh, snap! Ouch, the Bears. Hey, they beat them. I mean, we did a good job, I think, sort of. I don't know. Can you grab the coach yourself for me? So I'm not good at sports. I like how I say that. I'm not good at sports. I'm not a sports fan. This girl is literally the biggest, well, she was the biggest Bears fan ever. And then the Cubs started playing and she started watching baseball, like what, two years ago? Well, I, I mean, I always liked baseball, but I didn't really start watching every game until 2015. Like the year before they won the World Series, yeah. I got hooked. So she totally got hooked and she actually follows them both on Twitter, which is really funny. And the Bears <laughs> tweeted her back feeling betrayed because she was posting about the Cubs and she posted about the Bears so much. So anyway, hey, if you guys, uh, if any of the Bears want to come cook with us, More we'd be down. More uh, she'd be able to talk shop with you. I'd be able to make really good food, but uh, okay. If, and obviously, if any of the Cubs want to play, <laughs> KB, Javi, you want to make some Puerto time. Rican food? Javi can come make some Puerto Rican food. Chris Bryan I'm can come eat it. whatever we make. Um, so we are in Chicago, so feel free to come by anytime. But, um, you know, this is really actually a really good dip for you to have for the Super Bowl, whether the Bears are in it or not. Man, we were so close. I literally thought Parky made the field goal and I was crying, like super excited. And then my boyfriend looks at me and goes, wait, what are you doing? And then I saw that it hit the crossbar, not once, but twice. And it was just the most devastating thing I've ever had to go through. You know, it's really funny because a lot of people like called him out, right? They were like, yeah, talking mad stuff. But then, um, was what was the beer company? Oh, Goose, Goose Island? Island. Yeah. So Goose Island was like, see if you can make this shot. I mean, and I, I give some, you know, credit to him. I guess it was blocked a little bit, but come on, man, like <laughs> just let Chicago down. But they did sign a new kicker uh, two days ago. They oh, what does that mean? Does that mean that guy's gone? 
hope he decided to go on the Today Show and talk about it. And I feel like that was really rude to do. <laughs> She's a little bitter about it. I don't know if you guys know this. Not over it yet. She's not over it yet. It's uh, but whether you know, as as most of us as Bears fans and Cubs fans, because we did, you know, it took about 108 years yeah. <laughs> for us to win. But as most of us are, it's like, hey, you know, there's always next year. No, I'm like, the good thing with the Bears is that they're all like young guys. So the core group is really young. So I'm definitely sure that we'll see them in the Super Bowl next year. I hear the coach is really good, too. Yeah, Coach Nagy. He came two seasons ago, I believe. Nice. Uh, or no, yeah, two seasons. Again, she knows way more than I. I'll make the food for the Super Bowl party. She'll know the stats. This is why I'm fantasy football. I won the first year we played purely by chance. And it was only because I picked players by like stats really, but like I didn't really do much research. <laughs> and they were like really, you know, good at it. And I didn't do much research, but it was still really fun. And I love watching football and I especially love watching baseball, man. I'll watch my cubbies all day long. That's but, like the perfect day, just watching baseball on like a nice summer day. Yeah. Well, I mean, watching football with some chili is fun too. Oh, no, it is. It is. Uh, well, it's some spinach and artichoke dip, see, because we're making it right now. <laughs> so what I just did is I added the cubed up cream cheese to the spinach. So we're going to mix this until combined. It's already starting to smell really good. It already is. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's my favorite food ever. I mean, you know, trying to get your vegetables in, right? With some spinach and artichokes. That's how it works. Get in that. I feel like we need more spinach, but or more uh, cream cheese, but we'll see. It depends on how much you really want. I'm gonna add a ton of cheese to this, so. All right, so I'm gonna have you mix this while I grab the cheese uh, and sour cream. So I'm gonna add a third cup of sour cream, kind of just to make it a little, give it like a little sour. Not, I don't wanna say sour, sour sounds gross, but you know what I mean, it adds a little tang. I'm going to add a little bit of a dollop <laughs> um, to this and we're going to mix it all up. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> all right. And now that that's all starting to get incorporated, I'm going to add the artichokes. So I bought a can of artichokes. You can really add as many as you want. You don't have to add artichokes. You can have a spinach dip by itself. That's totally fine. Um, I'm okay with them being quartered like this because that's a good size for me. So you can actually buy quartered artichokes and throw them in. Well, I never really seen artichokes before. I know. So funny enough, so an artichoke is like this whole big like flower almost, it's huge. And that, that is the only edible part of an artichoke. Really? Like if you look at an artichoke, that's what it looks like. The only edible part is this tiny part, the heart that's on the inside. Like it's for, it takes forever to peel. This is why I'm not peeling any of that. This, I'm not living that life, that I'm not about that life. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of garlic powder in there, I'd say like, quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder just because I want to see first where I'm at before I actually start doing it. So ooh, it's like combining all getting all bubbly, bubbly and delicious. So now we're going to add Parmesan cheese because duh, I should probably measure this because I'm going to tell you how to do this, right? So I usually with these types of recipes, I kind of just throw in what I want until I see the consistency that I like. And my husband gets mad at me because I'm always like a pinch of this, a inch of that or whatever. But so we're going to do a third of a cup of Parmesan. And then we're going to do a third of a cup of Italian style cheese. So this has mozzarella, provolone, romaine, Asiago. So a really good mix of delicious cheeses. So third cup, we're going to mix that up. And then we're going to see once that's blended together, where it's at, because it might need a little bit more. So, you think I should add more artichokes or you think that's good? I think that's good. That's good? Okay. Else, yeah. All right, so we garden here at Busy Mommy, and uh, we actually grow these Thai chilies, and if you look, there's like, it's like, I know, oh my God, so gooey. Um, it, uh, they're these little tiny peppers that are really cool, and they're multicolored, and what we do is we dry them, <laughs> and we, um, crush them and that's what we use for like pizza and anything 
Actually, one of our sisters, Jasmine, like eats this like it's going out of style. <laughs> she puts it in her pasta, on her pizza, pretty much anything because she loves spicy. So we're gonna actually add this to mine. I always add when I make spinach dip, I always add a little bit of heat because I like that. Ashley's not a huge fan of a lot of spice, so we're not gonna add a lot. And I just like breathe this in and I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Plus <you. laughs> Again, see with this inhaling of the peppers, I need to, guys, do not inhale. This is my PSA from Busy Mommy, do not inhale. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put a little tiny bit just to give it some color and to give it a little bit of kick. Literally just a pinch. This is up to you, you don't have to add it, um, but I think it adds a little bit of a, a little bit of a kick. So we're gonna add some pepper, just shake it in, throw it in there, mix it up. I think, oh, that looks so gooey. Should we add more cheese, you think? More parm? If you want to, I love cheese. All right, so we're gonna add probably another third cup of Parmesan cheese, because that's what's left. For the rest so, of the day. Well, that's about a third of a cup. So we're gonna, so really, two third cups. Um, so we're gonna add that, so get it all incorporated and mixed up. I'm gonna get some chips so we could try this, um, just because I wanna make sure that we have everything before we throw it into the oven and have it get more crispy and bubbly on the top. So she's gonna keep mixing this, I'm gonna get some chips. All right, so we all know I've been doing a lot of keto recipes. This is actually pretty keto. Um, you can actually put this on chicken, on salmon, on anything uh, to make it taste better because cream cheese, cheese, and artichoke, like that's totally good. So I'm actually gonna use a pork rind just because I'm not trying to eat the chips, but um, Ashley, you can use a chip and try it. Perfect. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes, just so that it gets a little crusty on the top. I'm gonna add a little more cheese to the top so we can get the bubbly. We'll be back, do some dipping, get to eating. All right, so we put it in the oven, put some cheese on top, baked it on broil for like four minutes, and this is what happens. Cheesy, delicious goodness. Uh, so we're ready for a Super Bowl party and our towels for the Super Bowl party, just to make us sad. Bear down, Chicago. Oh, sad. Let's take a moment of silence. Just kidding, we're good. We're just gonna eat, dip, and not pay attention to the game. All right, so let's try it, Ashley, one last time. Here we go. All right, I'm just gonna use a real chip. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Chewy goodness. Wow. So, I got a wow from her, which is good because it's literally her favorite. So, make sure you like this video, comment, follow. Let me know other things that you put into your spinach dip because yum. So enjoy, hope you bring this to your next party and see you next time. Bye, go Bears, go Cubs. <laughs>